Okay, so crankshafts <laughs> and cum rods. <laughs> what is fine? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? That's fine. Okay, so crankshafts and cum rods this week. We've got a multi-web mini crankshaft package here. And we're gonna overlay this video over the top of another video from Arrow Precision who machine all of our crankshafts and cum rods. Da -da -da. We should have some intro music on these. Mm. So, nice CAD drawing, it's not a mini cum rod. No, but it shows the uh, the whole sort of design aspect of the, the cum rod there. Is that a forging then, Lee? Uh, yeah, that's how they start out. So you've got the forged um, uh, pieces of material, basically, mm -hmm. uh, which then obviously get sent through to the to the machines, um, the CNCs, which then do obviously it's the milling operations you see. Specialist in, mill, yeah. some little end, big ends. Yeah. It's all fully automated. There's no, there's no guy standing there doing this. No, it's all um, numbers. yeah, programmed in. You'll see it milling, obviously the uh, the ends there. That was a quickly crack testing, and then that's being rumbled. Yeah, give it a nice quality finish. Further operations. Um, you've got the comrades laid out here, being ready to go onto the surface grinder. And um, what they do is they'll grind the the little ends and the the big ends to size, as you'll see on this one here. Just like so, that's the width. The machine in that's right. Yeah, that's that's machine in the little end width. Um, this part here, I don't know if you can see it on the on the uh, video. But, it's uh, quite yeah. small down there. Yeah. And that's the boring, the centre boring of the. Yeah, this one is then obviously honing, well, boring and honing the uh, the big end of the conrod. Um, after which it obviously goes through into the inspection department, which they uh, um, use the CMM machine to measure it basically. Check inspect the roundness. It. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is really cool, we like this bit, it's laser etching, so a bit different on the MED rods, they've got a, an MED logo but same process, and then turn the lights on, look at that, how cool is that? <laughs> That's actually the last process of the Conrod before they're obviously finished, um, boxed up and um, sent away, so moving on to the cranks now, um, this is part of the uh, the CAD work and the um, design work, they're just making sure obviously that the uh, the program will allow the machines to do what they need to do there. And that's presumably how the billet crank starts out then, a massive lump of steel. Yeah, big round bar of steel, yeah, which is then milled, various operations as you'll see in the next um, few stages really. That's EN40B steel, so this would be like a, one of our historic cranks. Yeah. And there... Some various cranks, there in the bottom left there's a mini multi-web. Which is one of these. Yeah. Which is how it gets uh, big ends ground at the moment, I think, you'll see in this yeah. video. Yeah. So that's a Burko machine, it's quite a well, it's very specialised machine, there's not very many of these around. No, it is, yeah, it's quite a piece of, uh, well, specialist piece of kit. Um, and so you can see why we don't make these in-house. Hmm. A lot of the design work is kind of transfer back and forth between us and Arrow. Yeah. Um, Arrow is just, just based around the corner from us and they've got all this specialised machinery. Uh, do a lot of touring car cranks. Yeah, sort of one-off bespoke work. In, um, production yeah. car stuff yeah, as well? Yeah, all sorts. Um, gosh, high-end crankshafts, the best really you can get. Yeah. And we're quite lucky that they're 10 minutes around the corner from us. So, mm. so do you think come back to this at some point? We'll come back to this video and actually see it in depth. I think so, yeah, it'd be worth doing a uh, bit more of a tech video on obviously what it's actually doing and why it's doing it and, you know, a bit more about the machine maybe. What's happening there then, Lee? So you see the machine's following the big end, it's actually grinding the big end to size, so the big end journal, where obviously the conrod um, fixes to on the crankshaft, mm -hmm. it's just grinding it to the correct size and the correct tolerances. Is that a multi-web on there at the moment? Yeah, that's a multi-web, could either be a, uh, a short sorry standard stroke 81.33 yeah. or it could be the long stroke 86 we do two different types uh, in the in the multi-web you'll see on the, the part towards the bottom of the screen there the tail of the crank um it's a nose of the crank isn't it nose mm -hmm. of the crank is the mini version yeah um we do an inline version for the midget and sprite as well yeah so this just shows you now, obviously the machine finishing down its uh, operation, so it's literally finished that journal now, move on to the next one, um, and complete the process, um, yeah, to give you the finished crank that. really. Now this this is obviously being done after um, nitride, and you see the crank's already been heat treated, so this is like the finished grinding operations on the crank. And then all, all these crankshafts come through with a certificate, so all the, the little Data you see up on the screen there, that all comes through 
and it's difficult. So you yeah. know that it's top draw, perfectly checked. You're not using the second hand crankshaft. That might have been an engine for, you know, even 100,000 miles and reground several times. Yeah, no, it's all brand new, out of the box, with, like Stephen says, the certificate of conformity um, ready to go. So that's just one little quick snippet of why these are so good. So we'll come back to it in future and perhaps pop over to Arrow and um, yeah. speak to some of the guys that are working on the machines and we'll show you a few more of the processes. Sounds good.